what's going on YouTube and today I'm going to be talking to you about raising cattle and how to make a profit starting right now. So when raising cattle you should always make sure that you have the right amount of cattle for the right acreage. See behind me we have a few back here behind me one two three four five we actually have seven there's two off hiding. We have about 15 acres of pasture 15 15 acres of pasture somewhere around there I don't even know something like that but we're, we can this is about the max that we can fit on a pasture and that's very important because one cow or steer needs about an acre to an acre and a half of pasture just one cow to be able to feed itself substantially but now that it's in the winter we have to feed them hay to make sure that they are continually fed when raising steers you should also make sure you manage your money wisely and that's going to aid in helping you make a profit. These steers we bought when they were much lighter and younger because when you pay for uh, steers like this you pay per hundred weight and the less less pounds they are the less you're going to pay. And we buy hay or make our own hay, feed it to them and they grow. They grow exponentially. We usually sell them around 900 to 1000 pounds sometimes maybe even more but then we sell them per hundred weight and we can make more money off of them when they're bigger than they are younger. We also may even butcher some of them to create beef and sell our beef privately to also make another form of income um, which will also help in making a profit with this batch of steers that we have. In front of me we have five of the seven that we have feeding on this hay. They all had it pushed back here so I just threw it right up in front of them. You see they love hay. Steers actually gain about a pound to a pound and a half a day eating hay. This one right here, you can't really tell. This lady right here, she's the mama. I just call her mama. You kind of look. I think she's pregnant again. And uh, that'll be really cool to have another steer and um, get that eighth one. So right over there is where they all come in. You can see a steer right there. But right in here in this central bay, the side bay, we have hay stacked up. Sorry for the lighting. But we have hay, hay stacked up here. I think we have about 12 bales. And right where I'm standing, we had one bale that I just finished feeding last week. And this is the bale that I've been working on this week. I'm going to pretty much feed today probably the rest of this bale. This was a really loose bale. But I'm going to probably feed the rest of this bale. And I'm just going to throw it right in there and uh, shake it out and put it right up next to the feeding trough. That way they can eat it and then we'll come back in tomorrow and feed them again. Now to, now to get the steers to that target weight, you have to feed them consistently. And like I said, they gain about a pound to a pound and a half a day eating hay. So pretty much what we do all winter long, probably through April, March, we're going to be feeding them this hay and we'll probably have to buy some hay. We probably don't have enough, but we're gonna have to feed them all throughout March, April, until the grass in the pastures starts growing back up enough that they'll have um, plenty to eat throughout the spring and summer. And just like that, we finish feeding that bale. Now tomorrow, we'll probably cut into this bale over here. This is a bigger bale much tighter than the other one. The other one was just pretty loose. It wasn't, wasn't tied right. Anyway, there's the hay in there. And we're gonna get to feeding them. So the whole crew made it in. Even a little calf. Hey buddy. So going along with managing your money, you also need to make sure that you're buying your hay, feed, bedding, whatever it is, at the best value, so that you're getting the best value out of your animal, as well as the supplies that you're purchasing. And in the end, that's really going to help you because your animal is going to be a higher quality. It's going to be better fed, healthier, and it's just going to make more money and sell better than it would if you would just buy really crappy hay or say you just bought really expensive hay and you just cannot afford to keep feeding your animals. Just do some research. Try to find the best, best supplies in your area for the best value so that you can make the best profit off of what you're raising. So here on our farm, we actually hire someone to come in and make the hay, but it is our own ground. So we know where the hay is coming from and we know that it has um, good nutritional value. And we even know the farmers very well and we know that they're doing a good job. One of the biggest things that you can do to help yourself is even talk to local farmers and try to gain information 
an experience, just ask them how they do things and try to figure out what worked best for you. Use your resources to your advantage because if you're not, you're really just hurting yourself. You're not taking advantage of those resources and you're not gaining knowledge. You're just trying to do it, like whatever. My dad mainly runs the farm, but I do a lot of the work around here as well. And he grew up on a dairy farm, so he knows what it takes. And you know, the dairy industry is a very tough industry. So no, yeah, he knows what it takes and all the work and the effort. And he knows tips and tricks and he knows how to do it. And we even know a lot of farmers as well. And we talk to them about farming. We just talk stories, just talking to local people, farmers, even farmers you don't even know, just people and gaining knowledge about what you're doing is very, very beneficial. So to recap, one, make sure you have enough steers to actually make a profit. Two, make sure you're giving them the right feed. Make sure you're getting the best value for yourself and for your animal. And three, gain knowledge from local farmers and just databases and find information, do research and figure out what works best. And in the end, you put all those things together and you will become a profitable cattle farmer. We'll see you guys next time on the Boovie Crew. If you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe, share with other people, and comment down below if you have any other uh, tips and tricks and ideas for future videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.